All right, George Rose, a heated press conference up there. Michael Zaraf at Tommy Brown, come to blows. Um, what'd you make of it? Look, I wasn't ready for it. Um, the, I mean, the chat was so good before it. I was kicking back, enjoying it. You know, I had my popcorn out, enjoying all the chat, and then um, they actually did get up. And I, you know, I shit myself for a minute there. I thought, shit, you know, this is. I, I don't want anything to happen there because obviously the the hype that they're building around the fight. I really want to see that fight. So um, yeah, just want to make sure they kept their distance and and uh, nothing nothing serious happened. He says that he feels somewhat disrespected up there, Tommy Brown. Do, do you see? why he might feel that way? Yeah, look, oh, well, I mean, Zarafa is such a, a polarising figure that everybody wants to know what zarafa has got to say, what he thinks, and, um, you know, I could understand Tommy feeling that way because, like he said, he's been preparing for eight weeks um, and, and no-one's been talking about him uh, fighting Michael. It's been Michael and Michael and Nikita, Michael and Tim, Michael and Michael and Cohen even. So um, everybody else has been talked about but him. And, uh, you know, it's probably a good preparation for Tommy is that there's no pressure on him leading into it. Uh, it's all on his side, all in his favour. A lot of respect up there between Nikita and Cohen. It was just sort of business as usual. But a few funny moments up there from Nikita. Oh, man, he's a different human, Nikita. He's... Um, uh, yeah. Look, I always expect that something unexpected will come from him, but I, yeah, he's he's unique. He's unique, and he cracks me up. He absolutely cracks me up. I can just sit there as a fan and enjoy what he's got to say every time he's got a presser. You did see some potential weight issues. You reckon that could be the reason? <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't have to chop off the testy. You know, he he mentioned that, and I, I laughed, but I thought, shit, I hope he doesn't have to. <laughs> Um, what was that story I saw out on um, Nick Walsh or wrote today that um, Team Zoo perhaps wanted to fight at a catchweight? Is, is there anything in that? No, well look, I, I mean they've landed where they landed now. Now they're fighting for regional belts and um, you know that's a great outcome I think for both fighters. So that's the target now is that they know that they both want to go on to bigger and better things. You know, Nikita won the Australian title, he now wants to look at expanding his horizons. Um, also saw yesterday uh, Matea Tapia potentially on um, Tim Zhu's card over in the U in the um, US. Um, any update on that? Yeah, look, Matteo's been preparing for a while. There's um, obviously we've had these few good fights, uh, these few, few good fight cards coming up that he could have sat on, and um, you know it'll make for a, a you know a great fight for him because he's man he's destined for for big things, Matteo. So uh, exciting to to have him back in the ring. Um, also saw a potential co-pro with um, Wildfighter for some um, No Limited on Fox shows. Um, can you sort of shed light on that? Yeah, look, I, I love what Will does down there in Melbourne. I, I think he, he does a great job in Victoria and um, always putting on good shows. Uh, gives us a chance to get back down to Victoria again. We've been hanging to get back down there and, um, you know, look at what we can do with our No Limit on Fox shows because uh, we've got a lot of great promoters in the country and um, we've also got a lot of talent that we want to be able to showcase. So getting into these new markets, these new areas, um, showing off the Victorian fighters is, is only going to be a good thing. Beauty. Thanks, George. Thank you.